brought up with a friend of mine and he was incredibly ecstatic because he had just joined the Tesla club. He bought this brand new Tesla, it was absolutely beautiful, incredibly fast, and not to mention it was so technologically advanced, it had all these really cool features. For example, it has an autopilot mode, essentially allowing it to drive itself, and not to mention all these other cool gadgets that are attached to these features that are attached to it. Truly a marvel of technology. And he was also incredibly proud and excited by the fact that his car was essentially emissions free. He kept mentioning this. And that really got me thinking. We are constantly told that EV cars are emissions free. But how true is that? Now, if you were to take an empirical dive, a deeper dive and look at the matter, the truth might actually shock you with the current reality. You see, when you look at the fundamental difference between an electric car and a conventional car, it really is in the way that energy is being stored and transformed. Now with conventional cars, energy is stored chemically, of course, within the fuel itself, the petrol, and then through the chemical reaction combustion, it's transformed into kinetic energy and that moves the cars. Now, when it comes to EV cars, it's a totally different process. The energy is stored chemically within the battery itself, but through an electrochemical process, it's transformed into kinetic energy without combustion. And as such, it doesn't actually release the emissions that are very bad for the environment. So when my friend said that his car was and is emissions free, he is absolutely right. Yet, is it the whole picture? Because if you're only focusing on the driving experience and I suppose the effects of driving an EV car, then indeed the, the case and, and really very much the whole thing is solved. But you're also missing out on the bigger picture. Now, when it comes to electric cars, of course, they are using electrical energy, electricity essentially. But how is that electricity being produced? Now, countries around the world, they tend to produce electricity through, of course, really a combination of coal, the conventional, traditional ways of doing it, burning coal and creating electricity. But also some countries are using more renewable, newer forms of energy to do so. But the case is never the same throughout the world. It is actually incredibly different. In certain parts of the world, the traditional ways are actually more prominent compared to other parts of the world. For example, in many parts of Asia, and also really in the United States, about 60 to 70% of electricity is actually generated through the traditional methods of coal. And that actually produces a lot of emissions with, to the environment itself. And that is something that we often overlook. Whereas if you were to go to, for example, someone like Iceland, more than pr practically all of its electric energy is actually being produced through more renewable and, of course, environmental friendly ways. For example, geothermal energy, not to mention all the other ways of doing it naturally. So the sort of short answer of that is when you're driving an EV car, which is relying heavily on electricity, although the car itself is not generating emissions, the electricity which you are using is actually putting a strain on the environment depending on where you live. Certain parts of the world, for example, many parts of Asia, much more so than other parts. And that's something that we often overlook. To truly be emissions free, the energy itself also has to be clean. And that is something that of course many countries are trying to solve too. Having a cleaner electrical grid to power not just the cars, but really infrastructure and our society. But again, as cars are moving towards an electric future, this becomes more and more important. But there's also a second thing that we have to think about as well. It is how these cars are actually being manufactured. Now, electric cars are manufactured because largely because of the batteries themselves and all these very different components. They rely on a lot of rare earth elements. And we're talking about, for example, nickel, cobalt, graphite, and a lot of these really unique minerals and materials that you find within the earth itself, deep within the earth. And the process of actually extracting and refining these rare earth elements actually is a process that relies heavily as well on coal and a lot of, you could say, dirtier energy, which also has a strain on the environment. And not to mention that, generally speaking, and, and they've done studies on this, the tons of um, these rare elements that you actually extract from the earth itself also produces a lot of pollution waste 
in the, within the process itself of extracting and refining. And so as we are creating more and more of these electric cars, this becomes an issue because we, we rely heavily on these elements. And so they put a strain on the environment in that way too. But also one thing that we overlook is when these batteries actually run out, when they meet the end of the life cycle, what do we do with them? At the moment with conventional cars, 99% of the batteries that are actually you know, uh, extinguished are actually recycled. But when it comes to the current batteries for the electric cars, which are largely lithium ion batteries, they are very, very difficult to recycle and reuse. And generally they aren't actually very, very few, less than 3% apparently. And so a lot of pollution is also being created from these batteries. And of course it presents a great issue at stake for the environment. So overall, as we're looking at this picture, yes, indeed, electric cars are emissions free when you're driving it. But again, we have to consider, are we also innovating in terms of energy in terms of, first of all, generating electricity, but secondly, manufacturing these cars and also really extracting the minerals and the, the materials that we require, the elements required to actually make these cars. And finally, it's also the question of recycling these cars as they meet the end of their life cycle. These are the things that we tend to overlook. Now, of course, with that said, hopefully society as a whole and, and the industries will be moving towards a direction where we'll find solutions to these things. But at least at the moment, we just don't know yet. And only focusing on the driving itself is really one side of the entire picture that we have to look at too. But it seems to me that at least at present stage, perhaps a more environmentally friendly solution to transportation actually lies in public transportation, actually more towards sharing transportation altogether. So we make it more cost effective and not to mention perhaps the rise of micro mobility that could be the way to go rather than relying on all these vehicles, whether they are conventional or electric, but certainly things to think about.